Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back tonight with a brand new fresh off the chopping block off the radar glitch working right now in GTA 5 online. Uh, founders are Celestial Gaming and JRock Butler 420 links down in the description. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the Xbox steps. I recommend if you want to see the PlayStation steps, go ahead. I'm going to pin them down in the comments as well and I'm also going to leave a link to Celestial Gaming's video, the guy that founded the glitch so you guys can see him on PlayStation if you guys need some extra help. All right? So, here's what you guys are going to need. You're going to need the MOC with at least the personal vehicle storage or the uh, workshop. You know, either one will work. Uh, you need 10 piss washers and you need one friend and he's got to be in a different session. So tell him to go into an invite only session and into a different targeting mode than you. Okay? So, now that we've got all that ready to go, uh, PlayStation guys, you don't need a friend in a different targeting mode. You just need a friend in an invite only session. That's the biggest difference. But uh, yeah, I'm mainly going to be ex explaining the Xbox steps, but PlayStation steps are a lot easier and clearer to follow. That'll be down in the pinned comment, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started with the glitch. Make sure your MOC is down in your bunker. Just go ahead and walk into your MOC, and uh, what you're going to want to do is have your friend sitting in a job in that invite-only session, okay? You're going to go to friends, uh, the friends tab, and go ahead and join him, and then when you join him, what's going to happen is you're going to get that alert that says, are you sure? And then it's going to say session is private. Just spam through all those. You're good to go. Now, walk out of the back of your MOC, hit exit trailer. What's going to happen now is you're going to get caught on an infinite black loading screen, okay? Now, this is where you need the targeting mode part. You can join your friend in the different targeting mode. I had another friend that I knew was in a different targeting mode than us, so I went ahead and I joined him, okay? But you can use your friend. So, I'm using Bloody right here. Shout out to you. And, uh, yeah, I want to go join him, and we need a different targeting mode because we need to accept the first alert and decline the second, okay? So, I'm going to be getting the alert right now. Once again, you you can have your friend helping you uh, be in a different targeting mode, like I said in the beginning of the video. So, I'm going to go ahead, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. There we go. So, you saw that flash right there of him in that, like, black abyss? That is what we need. If you don't get that, the glitch won't work. So, you need to do that targeting mode thing first, okay? So, now after that, your friend is, in, is still in that job, okay? Because he hasn't backed out of it or anything. Your friend is still sitting in that job from when we joined him when we are inside the MOC. Tell him to spam you a few invites. Go ahead and accept them. Once you've accepted the invites, accept it and tell him to back away. So, accept the alert, tell him to back away. You're going to get an alert like that. It's going to flash, all right? Just like that, you're just going to get a flash, okay? So, now you're still caught on an infinite black loading screen. That is okay. We need to join him one more time, so tell him to hop into that job once again and spam you a couple of invites, okay? So, he spammed me a couple of invites. Shout out to BMX for helping me. I'm going to get details. Accept it. Tell him to back out, okay? So, now that he's backed out, I'm going to get an alert again, just like that. Session trying to join no longer exists. And now it's going to shoot me back down, and boom. I am now in this like twilight zone inside of the MOC. This is what you want to see. Don't move your camera, don't move your character, don't move anything like that. Access your piss washers. If you don't know how to fully drink and chug a piss washer, you got to double tap it, okay? So double tap on it and you'll see he'll tilt the bottle up about four times and on the, on the four and a half time, he'll just drop it. That's how you know you can double tap A again and you can start drinking. PlayStation, you guys are double tapping X. All right, so he'll tilt it up about four times and then he'll drop it. You can go ahead and double tap again and move on to the next beer. This is why you want full piss washers, all right? Because you're going to need to drink about eight of them to, uh, to pass out, okay? So you're going to see at around number seven, you start, or, you know, number three, I guess, you start getting a little bit tipsy. The screen starts to get different. He gets hunched over. I'm just going to fast forward through me drinking them all. What you want is for him to pass out. If you don't double tap, he's not going to pass out. He's just going to be standing there drunk, all right? So there we go. He passed out. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to get caught on another infinite black loading screen, but check this out. You're going to get a flash like that. That was him at the hospital, okay? So you've gotten this far. Now your friend that's still helping you, he's still in that other invite-only session. Uh, tell him to join another job. Tell him to send you a few invites, okay? So he sent me a few invites. I've accepted them. Now I'm going to get the alert. Once I've gotten the alert right here, when session details fully load up, I'm going to go ahead and accept this alert. Tell them to back out right now, all right? So accept the alert, tell them to back out. I'm going to get that alert again. And at this point, you just want to keep doing this over and over again until it spawns you down at the hospital, all right? So you've done the hardest part. At this point, we're just joining jobs right now, so the same thing. He just joined another job, spammed me a few invites. I'm accepting that alert, telling him to back out. Once he's backed out, I get the same alert that we keep getting, you know, that the session no longer exists, and I'm going to get put on another black loading screen, okay? So just keep doing this over and over again. It could take you two tries. Could take you four tries.
tries. It took me four tries to be able to actually hit this, but it's not a difficult glitch, guys. I just had to figure it out for Xbox because the steps are a bit different. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to the founders for coming up with this. Glitches are always harder on Xbox, but I like the challenge. I don't mind it whatsoever. So um, yeah, so I'm still joining. This is going to be the last time I have to do this. So he joined up another game, sent me some invites. I got, went ahead and accepted the invites, accept the alert, tell him to back out. That You get that alert. And now all of a sudden, check it out. I accept it. I'm up in the sky. It's shooting me back down. And there we go. I am down in a session, in the public session I was in before, and I am actually completely off the radar, normal minimap. So I suggest you do this glitch in a public session, okay? Because why would you want to be off the radar in an invite-only session by yourself? So definitely be in a public session so that now you can go troll people, you can do whatever you want. I went ahead and invited BMX over here, and I just wanted to show you guys this really funny clip to prove to you as well that I am indeed off the radar. So I saw this dude with a bounty right here. And you know, anybody with a bounty is definitely going to be nervous, uh, you know, from being over here in uh, the, any GTA session. They're going to be nervous with a bounty. He doesn't think there's anybody else anywhere near him. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a streetcar just to look as little, you know, as inconspicuous as I possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to grab a streetcar and I'm just going to head over to him. Now, watch, just check this clip out. I wanted to get at least one cool, funny clip like I always do with these, you know, off the radar glitches. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out my stickies. He has no idea I'm coming. I don't know what he's doing He's like driving like a pedestrian literally like normally like an AI So I take out my stickies. I pull up right next to him. He's in a hearse So I just went ahead toss a sticky He still has no idea I'm here and then I just went ahead and blew it up and there you go <laughs> He died no idea that I was even there drive a streetcar It's so inconspicuous and you guys can have a lot of fun with this Put on some regular street clothes and you can walk around and you'll blend in completely. Nobody can see you on the map, guys. He didn't even know that guy right there with the crates. He had no idea that that was even me. And check it out. I got the $9,000 bounty from that guy. All right. So, uh, yeah, have fun with this one, guys. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. And if you did, drop a like by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.